All right, food fanatics. Let's talk paella. You know, that vibrant, flavor-packed Spanish dish that's practically begging you to dig in. But let's be honest. How many of us really know what goes into making a truly authentic paella? Forget those sad, soggy excuses for paella you've probably encountered. We're going straight to the source, uncovering the secrets of this Spanish classic. Get ready to impress your friends and your taste buds with a paella that's bursting with flavor and tradition. This isn't just a recipe, folks. It's a culinary adventure. So grab your apron, sharpen your knives, and let's get cooking. Before we dive into the delicious details, let's take a quick trip back in time. Imagine the rustic charm of ancient Spanish villages, where the air is filled with the aroma of home-cooked meals. Paella hails from the sun-drenched region of Valencia, Spain, where it was traditionally a peasant dish. This region, known for its fertile lands and vibrant culture, provided the perfect backdrop for the birth of this iconic dish. Farmers would gather whatever ingredients they could find, rice, rabbit, snails, vegetables, and cook it all together in a large pan over an open fire. This method of cooking was not only practical, but also brought out the rich, hearty flavors of the ingredients. Over time, paella evolved and spread throughout Spain, with each region adding its own unique twist. From the seafood-rich coastal areas to the meat-heavy inland regions, paella became a canvas for culinary creativity. But one thing remained constant, the spirit of shared enjoyment and celebration that makes paella so special. It's a dish that brings people together, whether it's a family gathering or a festive celebration. So when you cook paella, you're not just making a meal. You're tapping into centuries of tradition and culinary heritage. Pretty cool, huh? Each bite is a journey through history, a taste of the past that has been lovingly preserved and passed down through generations. Now, let's talk ingredients. The foundation of any great dish starts with the right components. When it comes to seafood paella, the ocean is your oyster, literally. The variety and freshness of your seafood can make or break this iconic dish. But choosing the right seafood is key to achieving that perfect balance of flavor and texture. Each type of seafood brings its own unique taste and consistency to the table. First up, you'll need a good quality bomba rice, the holy grail of paella rice. This rice is specifically cultivated for its ability to absorb flavors while maintaining its structure. This short grain rice absorbs liquid like a champ, resulting in those perfectly cooked separate grains that paella is known for. It's the secret to that delightful texture. For the seafood itself, think variety. A mix of different seafood types will give your paella a rich and complex flavor profile. Fresh mussels, clams and prawns are classic choices, adding a burst of briny sweetness. Their natural juices will infuse the rice with a deep oceanic flavor. A firm white fish, like monkfish or cod, provides a meaty counterpoint. These fish hold up well during cooking and add a satisfying bite. And for a truly luxurious touch, why not throw in some lobster or langoustines? These premium ingredients elevate your paella to a gourmet level. Remember, fresh is best. Head to your local fishmonger and choose seafood that's plump, shiny and smells like the ocean. The fresher the seafood, the better the flavor and texture in your final dish. Don't forget the finishing touches. Fresh herbs, a squeeze of lemon, and a dash of your favorite spices can make all the difference. These small additions bring out the best in your seafood paella. While seafood paella reigns supreme, let's not forget about its meaty counterpart. The traditional Valencian paella features rabbit and snails, but you can get creative with your protein choices. Chicken and chorizo are popular additions, adding a smoky depth of flavor. For a more decadent touch, try duck or lamb. And if you're feeling adventurous, rabbit, yes really, adds a unique, gamey flavor that's sure to impress. The key is to choose meats that will hold their own against the bold flavors of the seafood and spices. And don't be afraid to experiment. After all, the beauty of paella lies in its versatility. Paella 101, from novice to paella pro. Now that we've covered the ingredients, let's get cooking. Paella is a dish that brings people together. And with the right steps, you can master it in your own kitchen. Don't worry, making paella is easier than you think. It's all about layering flavors and taking your time. With a few simple steps and a bit of patience, you'll be a paella pro in no time. The key is to follow each step carefully and enjoy the process. First, you'll need a pella pan, a wide, shallow pan with two handles. This pan is essential for creating the perfect texture and flavor. Heat some olive oil in the pan and brown your chosen meats. This step adds a rich, savory base to your paella. Then, add your vegetables, onions, garlic, tomatoes, and cook until softened. These ingredients will infuse the dish with their aromatic flavors. Next, it's time for the rice. 
Use short grain rice like bomba or arborio, which absorbs flavors well and gives the dish its characteristic texture. Toast the rice in the pan for a couple of minutes, then add your stock hot please. This step ensures the rice absorbs the flavors evenly. We don't want to shock the rice. Adding hot stock helps maintain a consistent cooking temperature. Arrange your seafood and meats on top, season generously with saffron, paprika, and salt, and let it simmer. The saffron gives the paella its beautiful golden color and unique flavor. The key to perfect paella is to resist the urge to stir. Stirring can disrupt the cooking process and prevent the formation of the sokarat. This allows the sokarat to form that crispy caramelized layer of rice at the bottom of the pan that's pure paella gold. It's the hallmark of a well-made paella. Once the rice is cooked and the liquid has been absorbed, your paella is ready. The rice should be tender but not mushy, with all the flavors melded together. Let it rest for a few minutes before serving, garnished with fresh parsley and lemon wedges. This resting period allows the flavors to settle and makes the paella even more delicious. Enjoy your homemade paella with family and friends and savor every bite of your culinary creation. Healthy and delicious? Si se puede! Hold on! Before you dive headfirst into that glorious pan of paella, let's talk about the health benefits. Yes, you heard right. This flavor bomb is actually good for you. The seafood in paella is packed with protein, omega-3 fatty acids, and essential vitamins and minerals. The vegetables provide fiber, antioxidants, and a rainbow of nutrients. And the olive oil is a heart-healthy fat that's full of flavor. So, indulge in this Spanish delight guilt-free. It's a delicious and nutritious way to fuel your body and tantalize your taste buds. Ready to get your paella on? There you have it, folks. The secrets to authentic Spanish paella revealed. Now it's your turn to get cooking. Gather your ingredients, fire up your paella pan, and let the aromas of Spain transport you to a world of flavor and tradition. And remember, the best paella is the one you make yourself. So what are you waiting for? Let's get cooking. Bonus round paella variations to tantalize your taste buds. Once you've mastered the classic seafood and meat paella, why not branch out and explore the endless variations? From vegetarian paellas bursting with seasonal vegetables to black paella made with squid ink. The possibilities are endless. Try adding artichoke hearts, green beans, or even mushrooms for a unique twist. Experiment with different spices, like smoked paprika or cumin, to create your own signature flavor. The beauty of paella is that it's a blank canvas for your culinary creativity. So get adventurous and let your taste buds be your guide. Join the culinary adventure. This is just the beginning of our culinary adventure. Subscribe to my channel for more delicious recipes, cooking tips and food adventures from around the world. We'll explore new flavors, uncover hidden culinary gems and learn how to create restaurant quality dishes in the comfort of our own kitchens. So buckle up food lovers, it's going to be a delicious ride. Stay hungry my friends and remember the most important ingredient in any dish is love. So cook with passion, share your creations with those you love and never stop exploring the wonderful world of food. Until next time, Happy cooking!